And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing a killer round. We're playing as the Plague. We're going to take a look at her loadout really quick. We're running Ruin and Undying. We're going to hope that slows the game down for us to be able to get some progress. We have Barbecue and Chili to give us some more readings and, more importantly, some sweet blood points whenever we hook somebody. And we're going to run with some Infectious Fright. Whenever we put somebody into the dying state, anyone in our terror radius is going to scream and let us know where they're at. We're running with the rubbing oil to increase our purge charge speed and the infected emetic, which will increase our vile purge effectiveness. Uh, Plague is somebody that we have played before. Uh, we enjoy playing her. She's just We've had troubles with her, but we're going to see if our practices led to some improvement here. Hopefully it will. We'll find out in just a second. All right, we're starting right next to one of our corrupt pools, which, of course, we're not going to be using yet. We're here on Orman because our survivors sent us here. We're going to bust this door. I don't even know where somebody's at already. Try to get a little bit of uh, vomit. Hey, Claudette. Oh, Claudette, you look a little green around the gills there, girl. Yep, now you're hurt. That's perfectly okay. I break the pallet. Well, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I hit the wrong button. I wanted to break the pallet. That's okay. We're just going to down you. I did not see anything go off. Did not see anything go off with our uh, infectious flight, so no one within the terror radius there. But barbecue, therefore, should give us a good idea where people are at. Hey, there's somebody... Cl Cleanse the totem right there? Dull totem, perhaps? Somebody's literally running. We can see somebody literally running right there. That's a bunny over here. Yep, there goes one of our totems. That was ruined, because we just saw... Hey, hi, bunny. Oh, you have a map. You have a map there, Bunny. I don't know why I swung at that. I knew that wasn't going to land. Oh. Hi. There was a pallet there, but it's okay. We're going to catch her coming that way. And we're going to swing and miss because we're a potato. Jesus, Pete. That's better. Hey, someone over there? Plague is a much better killer when you slug. We will take advantage of this, though.
Why are you running at me? Uh, you want to use the borrow time? Sure. Hi. Hey, injured people. That's one down. up that other person. I'm going to bring you over here. Alright, Undying is gone. Ruin's still up, though. Where's the other person? Oh. Hey, Bill, you see where my totem is, I see. Again, you look a little ill here, Bill. Now, let's see if we can get some damage done with this. We got a lot of people injured. Uh, come back, William. Hey, I guess we'll abandon the bill chase. We'll go back after you. Oh, that's a good dead hard to get away from me, but... Okay, I was going to say, how in the world is that not landing? There's Bill over there. You guys want to keep... You guys want to keep cleansing. Hey, Bell. Yeah. We are going to run out of our uh, corrupt purrs, but boy, they keep wanting to give it to us, though. We are not going to use it. We have pools all over the place at this point. That gen over there was almost done. We do not want them finishing it. I said they have been very very quick 
to cleanse, which is usually not what you want to do against the plague. If I was a better plague, this would be less of an issue. I have to break this. Yeah, that's... That's a problem. God! Alright. Oh, is anybody on death hook? Oh, Bill, we can do that, buddy. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate the free down. Thanks, Bill. I, I can't say I understand what that move was about, but... Oh, come on now. How did that not land? That right there just cost us time we do not have in the chase. God almighty. We have to leave her. She should be down. We have to leave her to pressure the generators. How did that not land? All right, Bill. They keep cleansing. Be nice that we get one of you people dead. Jeez, can we get somebody, anybody dead on hook? I feel like we've hooked everybody multiple times. Finally, somebody dead. Oh wait, nice dead hard. God almighty. We knew God pal it was there. Alright. Let's not rush. We got three gens right here. We also have numerous fountains right here.
Hey there, Meg. All right. I think you're dead. You are. I see one person over there. Oh. Hey, Bill. What's up, Bill? Alright. Bill, I believe you're gonna be dead. I just this one I just wanna find a hook. One over here by this gen should do just nicely. Like I said, I think this is your death hook. It is. Huh. No one on barbecue. I have no idea where the hatch could be. I know where the hatch could be. Helpful. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to load up on some corrupt purge. And we are going to determine that these doors are very far apart. Oh, I, we actually screwed up. Oh, I wish there was a way to cancel our corrupt. What we honestly would have wanted to do is we should have kept our vile purge and gone to thrown up on the door handle. Then we would have known what door they were working on. Oh, it didn't matter. They were waiting at the door. They are gone, but... Yep, that's actually a, a mistake on our part from not playing the plague very often is we uh, we uh, did not stop to think that we actually should have used our vile purge to go ahead and throw up on a door handle so that way we would have been notified whenever somebody got onto that door. Uh, kind of like the hag's traps and the trapper's traps. That's a good way to, to, to basically get an idea of where the survivor's trying to get out on the door. But apparently they just picked the door immediately and that we went to the wrong one, so we didn't have much of an opportunity to do much of anything to get, get them before they got out. Um, we don't play the plague that often, and embarrassingly enough, we have to admit that we have played the plague and didn't realize that you could, you know, actually shoot her vomit without charging it up all the way. Yeah, I know. Really potato of me, isn't it? And really dumb of me. So uh, we have played some practice rounds with the plague, however, to uh, to test out her her vomiting and uh, our abilities with her, I, without doing the complete charge. And we found we had a lot more success with it. So we decided to run it out for a match today. And you know, overall on Ormond, we we still had some potato moments. We had a couple swings and misses. There were still a couple moments where I had to shake my head and wonder how in the world is that vomit not landing? But we were able to use our Corrupt Purge effectively, I think, a lot more than we ever had in previous matches. We are able to land hits with it, able to land downs with it. And uh, this team, well, they kept cleansing. They kept giving me fountains to work with. And uh, overall, like I said, uh, the Plague is someone I've always wanted to play more with and get better with because she's got such a great aesthetic. She looks just... I mean, take a look at her. That's one of the best design-looking killers in the game. And like I said, she's fun to play, just a little bit more challenging. And will I play some more Plague in the future? Well, hopefully so. Uh, you know, more matches that go like this, I definitely will. Uh, overall, I had a lot of fun this match, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. We'll definitely take a 3K with a killer we've struggled with in the past. Anyway, thanks again so very much for watching. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons while you're here. It would mean a great deal to us as we grow our channel here in our infancy. We have new Dead by Daylight videos pretty much on a daily basis. And you can follow us over on Twitch at Geriatric Gaming 11 and get notified whenever we go live. Until the next time, thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.